Hey everybody, Canadian Gamer coming to you guys with another competitive build. Today we'll be talking about the Pokemon Oranguru. Now Oranguru is going to be one of those Pokemon that probably will not see very much singles play. It'll mostly be doubles. I don't believe triples are actually in the game anymore, so those who say he'll be good in triples can't really say that now that we know that triples aren't really a thing in this game. Now, Oranguru is an interesting Pokemon. It is normal psychic typing, and a lot of people made a big fuss about his typing not being the best, but think of it this way. This Pokemon no longer has a weakness to Ghost, and it is now immune to it. Having a swap into Ghost is such a great Pokemon. Uh, it Sure, you be now become neutral against you know fighting types. They can still hit you pretty hard, but at the same time, now you have that immunity to Ghost which is great. And then you're still weak to Bug and Dark. And then I believe that is actually everything you're weak to. But let's go Let's go over him. Why I chose the ability tel uh, Telepathy. He has, I believe he has Inner Focus, which allows him to not flinch. And he has Symbiosis, which if the partner Pokemon uses its held item, this one passes on its item. But I, I don't think we really need that. As for the item we will be running on him, it will be Leftovers. He has 252 investment in HP, 252 investment in Special Defense, and 8 in Defense. So he's going to be a specially defensive wall, primarily used to use his new move, Instruct. Now, he has base, data, base stats of eight, uh, 90 HP, 60 Attack, 80 Defense, 90 Special Attack, 110 Special Defense, and 60 Speed. So as for the Speed, we really don't need the Speed, honestly. It's not going to be that much of an issue. Now what Instruct does, Instruct allows us to use a pre our partner's previous move again. So our partner then uses its move twice in a row. So like, let's say you used a flamethrower on Celesteela and it survived. Well then Oranguru uses Instruct, tells you to use that flamethrower again, this time you take it down. So it's a great move to be able to get off two moves. If the Pokemon across from you fainted that you already attacked, then you get to attack the other one. Even if it's not very effective, it still gets off some more damage that you normally otherwise would not. Now, why we have our investment the way we do? Well, we want him to survive as long as he can, and his defense stat is kind of mediocre, so we're probably not going to focus on that. Uh, so we're just going to beef up his special defense, we're going to beef up his HP, no requirements for the attack, and we don't really need special attack investment, even though it is good. You can make Oranguru offensive, I guess. He does get access to Calm Mind, uh, Psy Shock, I believe Focus Blast, and Echoed Voice, and stuff like that, so you can do that. I'm amazed Oranguru does not get the uh, move Hyper Voice, because, you know, he's an or Orangutan. Orangutans make a lot of noise, you know? Would have been perfect. But just the way we're going to build him is to max out a special defense as HP so we can take a special hit. Whether or not our Pokemon next to us is a tank. It doesn't even... Like, we could partner him up with a physical tank, you know? And just get them to beef each other up. Like, could you imagine running two Orangurus? Just like... Actually, never mind that. Well, actually, two Orangurus in a triple battle would have been cool, you know? Have two Orangurus use Instruct on the Pokemon in, like, the middle, and then just the middle one's attacking everything, you know? Especially, um, especially, you know, with stuff like that. Now, the ability Telepathy. I forgot to go over that when I mentioned the abilities, why I didn't use Symbiosis and Inner Focus. Now, Telepathy allows you to avoid damaging moves from your teammates. So let's say you have... Uh, Primarina uses um, Sparkling Aria. Well, that no longer will hurt you. Or Earthquake. Or Bulldoze. None of these moves that make cause damage to you. Surf. Things like that. They no longer hurt you. So it's a great ability. I f and it's not the hidden ability either. The hidden ability is Symbiosis. Guess if you want to run Symbiosis, you can. Like, maybe if you're running, like, Azumarill Belly Drum set, uses the berry, then Oranguru gives back the gives it leftovers, then it uses Belly Drum again, and then shenanigans. That could actually work. Now, I'm thinking right now just the way the game is made, like with the whole Gen 7 OU until January. And and this is like Gen 2, or Gen 7 OU doubles. Now, the reason for Trick Room. A trick Room you're not necessarily always going to use, but remember, a lot of these Pokemon this generation are slow, which makes the Tapus and the Ultra Beasts some of the best Pokemon this generation. And in doing so, 
Trick Room allows these slow Pokemon to then outspeed. I find Trick Room to be better in doubles and triples than singles just because you waste a turn getting off the Trick Room, but then the Pokemon that abuse Trick Room might not actually have anything to abuse. Like this build, we have Taunt and Psyshock. Taunt automatically goes first, but there are also a lot of Pokemon that prevent priority, such as Tapu Lele with its Psychic Surge, which prevents priority and boosts Psychic type moves. Another good partner for this Pokemon could be um, Tapu Lele. Like, you summon Tapu Lele out, and then, you know, it boosts your psychic type, so you have the increased damage from Psyshock, but you also can instruct it to use Moonblast again, Thunderbolt again, uh, what else is there? Um, I forget what else I run, other than the Z-move. Oh, Nature's Madness again, you know, there's, there's a lot you could choose from. And Taunt is just there when we need it. Taunt is also good for single battles. You know, since it's priority, it'll prevent them from using things like Sora's Dance, Calm Mind, since apparently a lot of Pokemon get Calm Mind in this generation. Uh, Stealth Rocks, Toxic Spikes, good Toxapex counter. This Pokemon is actually a pretty good Toxapex counter, now that I think of it. Instead of maybe running Psyshock, maybe run Psychic, because I don't know, a lot of them run different builds. But yeah, that is my discussion video for Oranguru, the new normal psychic orangutan Pokemon. Tell me what you guys think about this hardy Pokemon. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys want to win shiny Pokemon. Remember to leave that comment. Otherwise, you don't have a chance to win anything. And remember to subscribe. There are daily videos, generally two, uh, two to four a day. Um, occasionally, there's a little bit of pause. I understand that, but this is because I don't have time to record. So anyways, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.